Hey guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you another grocery store haul video. This one's a pretty big one, so I decided to go with Click and Collect today. So I'm just heading out to the store now, and I'll lay everything out for you and show you what I'm getting. I don't know why I decided to do this on Saturday. <laughs> I forgot it was Saturday, to be honest. And every single parking stall is full um, for Click and Collect, so we'll see how long this takes. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be worth it today or not. So guys, I'm back home and oh my goodness, I just can't even believe how much groceries I got. It's crazy when you like lay it all out on a table like this. It really makes me appreciate the fact that we have all of this available to us so close by. So let me take you through what I got. I'm gonna start with all the bad stuff. I piled it up over here. So guys, this stuff will probably last us at least a month. Uh, maybe not so much for the chips, but for sure for the crackers, um, for sure for the pop. We don't drink pop every single day, but we do like to entertain and to host, so I do like to have it on hand, and of course we do treat ourselves to that as well sometimes. It was on sale this week, so I went ahead and stocked up. Um, I really like these original snack crackers. They're similar to Ritz. Ritz crackers, if you want to go brand name, those are vegan as well. Um, but I find that the taste of these is really good and honestly, it's cheaper. So <laughs> that's why I got that. Coming over to the chips. I've got three bags of ripple cut chips. I've got a no-name brand of barbecue. This one's really good. I picked this all up at Superstore, which is Loblaws, I believe. I also have a spicy sweet chili heat and just a regular tortilla chip back here as well. Okay, so let's move on to like the dairy section. As you guys know, we really enjoy silk soy milk, so I went ahead and stocked up on four of those. They were on sale this week. The other thing I really like by Silk is their coffee creamer. This stuff is super good. It's delicious in coffee as well as in tea. And I use it a lot for um, different baking and different um, cooking as well. So like if I'm making a frosting, for example, I like to use a bit of that to thin it out. Um, I picked up two things of vegan Bissell. Um, this week I'm gonna be making some shortbread cookies. Um, uh, Valentine's Day shortbread cookies so when that goes live I'll make sure that I link the recipe down below this video for you guys I'm super excited to share it with you it's gonna be super good over here I picked up two of the Hellman's vegan mayo um, these guys were on sale this week as well so I grabbed two I've got some condiments I love this barbecue sauce the sweet bourbon it's vegan and um, it's great for barbecue tofu I just got some relish um, this is a bunch of icing sugar um, that I got just bulk. For frozen stuff, I went ahead and grabbed a thing of red raspberries and some frozen corn. Normally I get like the big jumbo pack of corn, but they didn't have it online, so just got the small one this week. For pantry items, this huge thing of walnuts is gonna last us a long time. Um, usually I just use walnuts in like my oatmeal for breakfast. Sometimes I'll bake with it as well, so that's gonna last quite a while. Um, I got two big bags of chickpeas. Guys, that is so cheap. They were $4 each bag and that's gonna last us a long time. Um, if you guys haven't seen my slow cooker hack for cooking beans from scratch, I'll link that down below as well. Honestly, it's such a time saver and it saves you so much waste because you're not like throwing out cans every day and a lot of time as well. So check that out. I've got two big things of brown rice. Um, I recently just got an Instant Pot and oh, it's been such a lifesaver. So much fun to use and it makes brown rice that much easier to incorporate into your diet. Peanut butter was on sale. I always get um, just the natural one and I like this brand, the Kraft brand's good. Grab some onion powder, grab some cocoa powder. I'm gonna try to make like a, have you guys seen the recipes for like really tiny cakes that you can microwave? <laughs> that must be a pregnancy craving or something because I really wanna make that, so that's why I've got that. I've got a huge bag of navel oranges, two bunches of bananas. This is a huge bag of peppers, the naturally imperfect. I've got a big bunch of kale, some green onion. Okay. Look at the size of this cauliflower. I have never seen a cauliflower this huge. I'm super happy with the people who picked out my groceries today. They did a great job. Cauliflower was on sale. These were $4 each, so maybe I'll make some cauliflower wings or something like that out of it. I got some snap peas. Usually I get like the traditional snap peas that you'd find like in a bag. I don't like this 
styrofoam stuff that it came in. I didn't realize that's how it was gonna come, but oh well, that's what we got. So I got three of those. A uh, big stick of ginger. I've got some baby cut carrots. The kids love snacking on these. I don't normally buy organic, but this one is cheaper than the regular one, so why not? Got some tomatoes here. Um, this pasta sauce is pretty good. It's just the no-name brand sweet basil. It's vegan. I got a couple cans of diced tomatoes, as well as some tomato paste. Um, this is the tofu that we really love in our house. It's the Sunrise brand. This is extra firm. I always use extra firm unless I'm making like a sauce or a dessert or something like that. This is the one that I like to fry up and cook on a regular basis. Coming over here, I've got a huge pack of romaine hearts, a three pack of cukes, and then gala apples were on sale, so I got two big bunches of those. That's gonna last us a while for sure. Over to the breads. Um, I picked up four of these uh, hamburger buns. They were on sale, so I'm just gonna freeze them and I'll use them throughout the month. I've got a package of everything bagels. I'm gonna make you guys a cream cheese, a cashew cream cheese recipe. I love cream cheese, anything creamy really, <laughs> just like everybody, right? Um, and it goes great on bagels, so that's why I picked those up. And some tortillas as well. We do a lot of Mexican kind of fare in our house, so burritos are a thing for us. What else do I want to show you? Oh, this is the egg replacer that I get. Um, so it's Bob's Red Mill. This one actually came from Frisian Bros. I don't have, uh, Superstore doesn't have this in stock at my Superstore, so I did stop at Frisian's to grab this. There's a recipe I'm making, it's French toast, um, and I do like to use egg replacer for that. For a lot of my other recipes, I tend to use some ground flax, um, which is a little bit healthier, but the egg replacer is super tasty and works well for certain recipes, so that's why I've got that. And yeah, guys, so that is my vegan grocery haul for this week. Again, most of this stuff is gonna last us at least, well, at least two weeks, for sure a month or more for some of the bigger bulk items. I hope this, I hope this um, shopping haul has helped you guys figure out kind of what you can do as a vegan. <clears throat> we don't all live on salad, that's for sure. <laughs> but we do eat a lot of tofu, some kale here and there, and we always munch out too, so. So you guys, I hope the grocery store haul videos are helpful for you. Um, I know sometimes it's easier to be shown something rather than just told, so I like to share with you guys what we do in our house. Um, if you enjoy more of like an informal type of video or vlog style video, do check me out on Instagram. Um, usually almost every day I'll post what we're having for dinner as well uh, for recipe development. So a lot of the time um, I will actually share with you guys on my Instagram stories what I'm doing for upcoming recipes on the blog. So if you're interested in some of the recipes that I was talking about um, during the grocery haul video, please go ahead, follow me on Instagram. Um, there you'll be able to get it a little bit sooner than you would if you were to wait for the YouTube video to come out. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My channel focuses a lot on veganism as a family, and I hope to see you in the next one.